Campos, Governor of Metropolitan Manila, Minister of Human Settlements. Aside from these posts and responsibilities, she carries one more distinction. She is her people's pride and glory, her country's number one ambassadress of goodwill. On this day, the 7th of June, 1982, Madame Marcos departs on another mission of importance for her president and her country. Destination, the People's Republic of China. This was the First Lady's fourth trip to the People's Republic of China. Her first visit in 1979 was considered a breakthrough. It paved the way for the formal opening of diplomatic relations between the Philippines and China the following year with the state visit of President Marcos. Mrs. Marcos last visited China in 1979. This time her purpose was a multifaceted one. There was the economic aspect of her mission, the possibility of opening markets in that country for products of a national livelihood program, the Kilosang Kabuhayan at Kaun Laran. There were talks of a possible need for Filipino labor in the proposed construction of a first-class hotel to be undertaken by a local firm. And, of course, the prospects of increasing the demands for the country's traditional exports, like coconut oil, and cover. There was also the political phase of the trip, the nagging issue of Kampuchea that has threatened the stability of the whole of Southeast Asian region. These and other matters occupied the mind of the First Lady as her plane lifted off the runway. The First Lady and her delegation arrived in Peking after the four-hour journey from Manila. Welcoming her upon her arrival at the Peking Capital Airport were the National People's Congress Standing Committee Chairman, Xi Jong-sun, and Special Advisor, Han Yang-long. Mrs. Marcos's party consisted of Natural Resources Minister Teodoro Peña, Food Minister Jesus Tanchanko, Philippine Airlines Chairman Roman Cruz Jr., AFP Chief of Staff General Fabian Baer, and Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister Manuel Coliantes. <laughs> Anticipating a hectic schedule ahead of them, the Philippine delegation was quickly whisked away to the official guest house where the party was to stay while in Peking. With barely enough time to unpack, Madame Marcos was escorted to an afternoon meeting with Chinese Premier Xiao Ziyang, her first major engagement. The meeting took place at the Ziguang Hall of Zhongnanghai, the official residence of the Chinese Prime Minister. Premier Zhao Ziyang welcomed the First Lady as she disembarked from her limousine. Their talks focused mainly on the current turmoil in Kampuchea. The Five Nation Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, of which the Philippines is a member, is clearly divided on the search for a political solution to the Kampuchean problem. 
Kampuchea is presently ruled by a regime installed by a Vietnamese occupation force numbering about 200,000 soldiers. Three major opposition groups within Kampuchea are in a stalemate in their attempts to form a coalition against the Hanoi-backed regime in Phnom Penh. The impasse stems primarily from disagreements on the form such an alliance should take and the division of responsibility among the three groups. China provides military and diplomatic support to the principal opposition group, the Khmer Rouge, while the two other movements are led by former head of state, Prince Norodom Sihanouk, and by former Premier Son Sun. Despite the controversy and disagreements, all five nations of ASEAN, together with China, are unanimous in their determination that Vietnam must withdraw from Kampuchea. In other topics touched during the lengthy discussion, Premier Zhao Ziyang briefed Mrs. Marcos on China's political situation and economic development programs. The Chinese Premier also expressed satisfaction with the way the relationship between the Philippines and China has developed since it was established in 1975. He recalled his visit to the Philippines last year, which gave him an opportunity to witness the continuing success of the Philippines under President Marcos. Their talks lasted for one hour and 40 minutes. Later that evening, Premier Zhao hosted a state banquet in honor of the First Lady at the famous Great Hall of the People. Thank you. 